Okay, so here's a quick demonstration of the Roy setup script. I'm just going to apply some power. Try to at least. Sorry for the delay. Okay, servers are going to position. I'm going to reset the board. What it's going to ask for is my. <clears throat> now, this is for the ARM kit. So, it's only going to set the nine servos. It's asking for my min position right now. It's defaulted to 300. I can go up and down. Now, move it one by one. You see the servo on the right is actually moving. Or I can go left and right. My hands in the way. And it'll do it by 10 pulses or value of 10. And I can press and hold and it'll move. I switch hands here so you can see it better. To the left. To the right. So we're going to go for a min value. We'll bring it up to the top. And I'm pretty close. We're going to just fine tune it. about 110 on this servo. I'm going to press down for select. I'm going to go for the max. You see the servos move back. I'm going to push it to the right. Oh. Alright, so this is where I'll uh, <clears throat> warn you about this joystick. It's very sensitive on the select. And uh, it actually selected 330, which is not correct. You can choose your direction. Uh, this may actually be deprecated later on, but for now, we have direction. Now we'll go to Servo 2. And let's bring it down. This one should be about 114. It's about on the money. Press Select. I'm going to bring it up by 10s. Seventy. That looks pretty good. Four seventy-seven. Direction to one is good. Now, I don't have any other servos, so I'm just going to leave these guys all in default. This is actually a pretty good demo because since I screwed up by hitting select early, save config. I'm going to hit down. Say no. Now it's going to bring me back. It saves my values I put in before, but I can modify them. So 330. That's pretty good. And we'll do a direction of one. And I'll leave this guy alone. Everybody else the same. So what it's going to do now when I hit save settings, it's going to write the file. And if you can see it clearly, it actually goes and initializes the SD card, deletes any previous Roy config.txt files, it opens it, saves the number of boards, number of servos, which is one and nine, saves all the servo settings, closes the file, and the save is complete. So now when I go to load using the OS menu, I guess what I'm calling now OS run, sorry, the Roy OS run, when I open that up, it should pull all those settings in. That'll be the next video.